to it. Now to reaction to a new report about the state police ticket scandal. That report cleared most of the troopers of any wrongdoing. The independent investigation tried to answer what led to thousands of tickets having potentially inaccurate racial profiling information on them. NBC Connecticut's Matt Austin is live at the Capitol with more tonight. Matt. Yeah, so Mike and Keisha, this was a review ordered by the governor, and it was led by a former U.S. attorney. And while it's over, others, including federal, are underway. After six months, an independent review of state police traffic records is now complete. It began after an audit raised concerns about the accuracy of thousands of traffic tickets when it comes to racial profiling data. It's critical to get to the bottom of this. Number one, to make sure it doesn't happen again. But also, I mean, in, in this day and age, we've got to show as much transparency as we can when it comes to, to police work. The report blaming many of the issues on poor training and outdated technology. It cleared 74 troopers and constables arguing it's unlikely they intentionally falsified data. And that narrative has been debunked today, and I'm certainly glad that that's happened. Another 49 were retired and no judgment was reached, but questions about seven remain and will be the focus of another investigation. I have as much confidence in my state police today as I've ever had. In response to the review, the ACLU wrote in part, the existence of such a widespread problem underscores a systematic lack of oversight. Our agency has lacked leadership for decades. We will get better. We will improve. Whether intentional or not, the original audit argued racial profiling data had been skewed. Well, the racial data is important to, to be able to demonstrate that the, the you know, Connecticut state troopers and police officers in Connecticut in general are making motor vehicle stops based on driver behavior and not someone's race. Now, those six troopers and one constable who are not yet cleared are at administrative duty as these investigations get underway. And the governor also calling for a new law to make it clear that writing a false ticket would be a crime. We're live tonight at the state capitol. Matt Austin, NBC Connecticut News. Mike, back to you.